morning everyone myself murli gerede in this video we are going to discussing about how to install ansible in linux server here linux is nothing but amazon linux centos red hat okay let's see the demo so i have created one server that is i have given server name is ansible server server and also i have connected using mobastrum now we need to install Ansible. Before going to install Ansible, first we have to install EPL repository. Why we require EPL repository? See, some, some of the Linux servers, when you use M install Ansible, it might not be installed. The reason is uh, the particular package, it is not available inside default. It is not available inside uh, etc. msrepo.d. Okay. mrepo.d, report.d. Here, this is the default repo, right? Amazon 2.core and extras.repo. Okay. When you use the M install Ansible, that particular Ansible related uh, repository is not available here. Package related info is not available. That is the reason some of the servers we may need to install EPL repository. Inside this particular EPL repository, Ansible related packages will be there. Okay. Now, what I'm doing here, M install. I'm giving that command m install epl and release. But if you if you observe here, currently we are using Amazon Linux server, right? For that, Amazon team they have their own command for related to EPL. Just copy this one, just paste here, and we can install EPL repository. Okay. Remember in CentOS Red Hat, whatever I'm using this command, right? It should be work. But the thing here is we are using Amazon Linux server. That is the reason we have to use their command. Okay, next one. You can use m install ansible iPhone by. Okay, m install ansible iPhone by. Now, if you see here, I used m install ansible iPhone by. Now it is installing. Got it right? And as I said, like ansible is written in Python. So when you install ansible, it should be installed Python also. Okay, ansible version is 2.9.27. Okay, and dependency we have a Python 2 as well. As I said, uh, this particular Ansible is written in Python, Python, right? That is the reason when you install Ansible also, it, it should be installed Python. Now we can verify whether you install or not Ansible iPhone version. Okay, when you see, sorry, iPhone iPhone version. When you give that Ansible iPhone iPhone version, you, now you can see that Ansible version and the Ansible version is 2.9.27. Okay, and here config file. Config file is nothing but Inside, when you install Ansible, we have ansible.cfg file. Inside this particular CFG file, we can declare Ansible related configuration. That file is available in inside etc Ansible directory. The file name is ansible.cfg. Remember in interview level, what is the default path of Ansible? We have to tell etc Ansible. Inside the etc Ansible, we have ansible.cfg file. It contains Ansible related configuration. You can declare there. Okay. And here, Ansible, the Python version, Python version is taking 2.7. If you observe here, Python version, it is 2.7.18. And one more thing here, executable location, it is a user bin Ansible. When you use any Ansible related command, inside the bin directory, it will run this command, Ansible file. Okay, inside user bin path. All right, now what I'm doing here, I'm going to that uh, etc Ansible. Let's see step by step, what are the things available? Now, if you up there here, I mean inside etc Ansible. If you give the LL command, now you are seeing three, one, two files on directory. First one, we can see the ansible.cfg. Open this ansible.cfg. Inside this ansible.cfg, you can declare ansible related configuration. Example, the default inventory file, it will take etc Ansible host. Remember, inventory, host, servers, both are same. Inventory, Hosts, servers, both are same. Here, inventory is nothing but the particular server, server's path. We will be declared destination servers, right? The default path is etc Ansible directory. Inside, we have a hosts file. Inside the hosts file, we can declare the particular destination server or destination fully called for domain name, FQDN. Okay. And if you want to change, this is the default library. And also, you can see here, whole interval every 15 seconds sudo user root user okay ask sudo pass we give given the true if you want to modify anything you can do it here only 
okay some of the use cases majorly will change this one inventory file default for this one in case if you are maintaining your own host file in some way you can declare here you can uncomment currently hash means it is commented we can uncomment we can declare the specific customized path okay default path is etc ansible host file got it right next one i am exiting from here now let's see this host file okay now i am opening this one hosts now if you see here you can here we can declare the destination server ips or fqdm fqdm is nothing but fully qualified domain name we can call it as a fqdm correct example here green.example.com right this is a fully qualified domain name fqdn okay what is that and also you can declare the ip address as well these ip addresses are destination ip addresses currently it is commented just they have given uh, uh, examples here okay in case if you have multiple uh, servers if, if you want to keep it as a group example we have a web servers inside the web servers if you want to declare multiple servers you can declare remember open close you are giving that this is the group name group name is web servers okay inside the web servers i have declared the four two fully called for domain and two servers these are totally destination servers only got it right then when i write the playbook when i call this web server group inside the playbook what will happen internally it will call all the servers it will be installed destination server whatever i have written inside the playbook example i have written inside the playbook uh, task is install java okay and the uh, the particular this particular group i have called inside the playbook when i run the playbook it will uh, call all the servers because it is a, it, it, we have declared as a group right inside the whatever servers is available it will call everything but remember before integrating inside the host file first we have to set up the sss okay first we have to set up the ssh between your ansible servers to destination server what is right next one come down here example you have a multiple servers group example i am showing here if you take example ww001 colon 006 this meaning is instead of writing like ww01.example.com 02.example.com 003.example.com up to 6 instead of writing this one you can write write like this okay it is a pattern okay www 001.example.com 002.example.com up to 6 instead of writing this like this okay you can return like pattern what is right what i'm saying here example i'm telling again you have a six servers same pattern instead of writing like this you can declare ww001 colon 006 this means up to 001 to 006 dot example dot com we can declare like this okay and the next one you can insert this particular host file you can declare any db related servers okay web servers you can declare whatever you want but you should be set up the ssh between your ansible servers to destination server okay what is right any question no right next one this is the roles directly we can discuss more on roles directly later part you will you will get more idea currently if i say also you can't understand much okay i will discuss i will discuss more uh, about roles concept later part okay this is the default path and here very important question in interview level what is the ansible default path okay where do you declare ansible related configuration you can tell etc ansible ansible.cfg file okay what is the default post file path we can you have to tell in say etc directory ansible directory we have a post file we have a post file inside the host file you can declare the destination server here one more question they will ask uh, for example i have a pattern can you declare as a pattern yes you can declare example as i said like here instead of writing this 001 002 like that we can declare as a pattern okay in single line we can declare inside the ansible host file it is ansible host file you can declare whatever not only database not only db okay anything what uh, not only web servers info whatever you want you can declare the destination servers here then whatever we declare here destination servers if you for example if you declare as a uh, group you can call it the group inside the playbook we will discuss more about the playbook concept later part okay we will get more idea okay i hope understand that if you have any questions feel free to comment thanks for watching this video we will see you next video